Keep it locked. It's your boy right here on the wheels of steel. Deal. Check this out. Hello and welcome to the Game Wonderful Community. In this very video, we are going to be learning how to introduce very beautiful sound effects into our DJ mixes. Here, I'm going to be showing you a detailed guide on how you get everything done, especially from the keyboard aspect. When you get to see, I have a very beautiful effect here that has not just the sound effect but my DJ logo on it. Look at it. It's your boy right here on the wheels of Steel. Deal. It's DDD Day Don Genius. Check this out. So it has a very beautiful lightning effect with my DJ name swiggling on the screen as and my own DJ name on the background again. So that is how to get some of this thing. I'm going to show you how you get this thing fixed on your virtual DJ within the next few minutes. But on your sampler pad, when you come to your sampler pad, you are going to drag it and drop it here. After getting it done whatsoever way you can get it the audio and the video in this case i have a lot of sound effects here when you go to my online store let me show you now when you go to my online store i have a couple of sound effects here the link will be at the description box of this video these are generally the audio best sound effect that you can use it has almost about 200 sound effects here but for the case of name drop possibly you might contact me to get something exactly like the what i'm showing you now this very one This very one I'm showing you that brings out this name on it. So there is a process that is involved. After getting it, and the, which is also the procedure is the same with putting all these ones here. The only difference is the video might have a little adjustment. But the other sound effect like this. Bringing you nothing but that fire. Yes. This fire is the one and all. So these sound effects are part of the 200 sound effects that are available in my online store, which you can get, which I've showed you the link earlier. All you have all you have to do after getting the file is going to be something like this. You unzip it. After unzipping it, I will show you how the inner folder will look like. So after unzipping the folder, it's going to be something like this. You open it. When you open it, you see a couple of files like this. There are a lot of them you can see. Over almost about 200 inside. All you have to do is you drag the ones you like. If you don't, if you want a new sampler pad, you click here, you click here, you click here. You right click on this point. Then you click on new sampler pad when you click on new then you begin to pick them and drag you begin to drag them into the file okay, for example i want to put this one here now drag it into this very point I pick this very one drag it into this very point i pick this very one I drag it into this very point drag it this one drag it into the very point once you do that all is set. Let's tap it. Let's see. So you will now get to see it. Don't forget, you have to select the sampler part down here before you can do that. You can see from my keyboard. So once you have your mapping properly set, it will just work automatically. You don't need to adjust anything except if you are using those random type of mapping. If you are using my mapping, you are not touching anything. Everything is already here for you. It's going to work with the effect. And if you want to introduce, if possibly the, some of the sounds are not working the way you want, you will need to come to this very small dot here. Cut it. Click it. Make sure you can see the sounds here. You identify the one that is not giving you the proper sound effect. You come to this very point. Possibly maybe the volume is low or some other feature. Let's say for example, we pick this very one, this DJ. When you pick it, you see how the whole thing is being arranged. You can adjust the volume from here. If you click it, it's going to adjust the volume, increase the sound, the sound here. Make sure everything is on drop. Then if you want to cut out a particular part of this sound, let's say for example, I want to cut out some particular part. I don't want the beginning, I want it to start somewhere here. I'm going to save it now. That is sampler. This very one, I'm going to keep. 
tap it again look at it two like that you got to pull up so you see it never start from the beginning again it just went to two like a java that is two like that you got to pull up pull up so that is the f3 let me go back again i'm going to adjust it you get to see the difference if i come back again i can come back again i will return it to original place So after cutting the very part that you don't want, you will now leave it. Or it not give you the type of result you want. You can go back to the file again. This is the DJ. And load it. I'm going to load it to original the original sound again. I'm going to play it again. You get to see the difference. Boom boom boom! You see a tune like that, you got So you can see it has boom 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 boom. You can cut out the boom boom boom, then start from the other part that you want. I'll just show you that one. Then for the for the case of the visual display i'm going to show you now so for the case i'm going to show you this sample now it has to be in a visual in a video format let me play it now so you can see how the sound came in with a lightning kind of sound thunder sound all you have to do is when you go back to your dj visual dj bank let's say for example here where we started with all you have to do is you just drag it make sure it is in a video format access the folder where the file is located you just drag it and just drop the next available sampler part that means look at it when i tap on the f4 look at it this is f4 for it if i go to f5 i'm going to I'm going to play it now on the screen for you to see. Let me put up the this thing. This is F5. Look at it. This is F4. I'm going to play it now. So I'll pick it again. This is F5. When I click on F5, just watch what will happen on the screen here. Very beautiful. So I'm sure you love what you just saw. All you have to do is in the event you want to remove the background, all you have to do is come to this very point, go to the particular sound, because this one is having a black background. Some cases it might come with different different background depending on the person who do the design for you. Just come to this very point. If you want to remove the background, all you have to do is you see where they put this transparency, you tap on it, then you pick the color of your choice. Since it is already selected on black, you see it's already showing you black being selected. When you click and hold and drag around, you will pick the black background. You adjust it, you just turn it. You see, once you turn it, the black background automatically disappears. Let me play it so that you get to see. You can see. So I'm going I'm going to load the video, then I'm going to play it on it. You get to see I've removed the background now. You get to see how beautiful it will be. Let me save it. You click save. Let me play this track that is playing. I will put the video to load. I'm sure you love what you just saw. You can see how beautiful the whole thing came on the screen. Then the next button that will have your DJ name, you just tap it. Everything will just flow. So thank you for being there. I believe you love what you just saw. For more information, and check my the link in the description box of this video or my profile. The link to getting all these things will be there. For the case of the customized sound effect or customized uh, video effect, you can contact me for more. So thank you very much for being there. Let's enjoy the beat as we continue to give you the very best. Catch you in my next video and peace out.